Hey guys, Tyler here, technical artist at Ventana. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far. We're gonna talk about how you export your amazing garments from Clo3D uh, in a way that they can be viewed in real time on the Ventana platform. Let's go. So as you can see, I have my amazing yoga pant and top ready to go. Uh, first things first, let's check out our top stitching. So I want to select this top one and shift select this bottom one and I want to go down to type. Now what I'm looking for here is I want to change, I want to make sure that all of our type is set to texture. So as you can see there's a conflict so I'm going to select it and we're going to go from OBJ to texture and it's going to take a minute but what this is doing, this is going through our asset and wherever we have a fabric seam it's changing the stitching from an uh, object, a mesh to a texture and this just makes the overall asset lighter and easier to consume on our platform. So now we're going to take a look at our materials, fabrics, um, and this one doesn't have a no map so we'll skip that one for now and we're going to jump down to roughness. Now most of the time your materials or fabrics will have a roughness map in this slot but if they don't we recommend that you create a uh, roughness map uh, instead of a roughness intensity. Now to do this it is very simple. You can go into Photoshop or your favorite image editing uh, program and you can create an HSV or HSB color in Photoshop where the V or the B value is set to the roughness intensity. Or you can go to ventana.com backslash resources and download our Clo roughness texture pack. So let's take a look at that. So we're gonna to go to our roughness maps. This had a roughness intensity of 50. So we're gonna select the R50 texture and we should be good. Now we're gonna move on to a green material. As you can see, we have a normal map this time. So a good rule of thumb for our normal maps is we don't want them to exceed a normal intensity of 10. They, they can exceed a normal intensity uh, value of 10. However, if they do, we tend to see shading issues uh, and, and irregularities. So uh, we, we strongly urge you to have your normal intensity set to 10. Now we're going to drop down to our roughness slot and as you can see here this is another unique scenario where we have a value of 44 instead, uh, instead of a roughness map. Now in this case we're going to round down and so we're just going to plop a map of 40 in the roughness slot. We should be good there. We're going to go to a final material and we're going to note that it has an intensity of five and we have a roughness uh, map. So we should be good to go. So in review, we went over to the top stitching and we changed it from, we made sure that it was instead of an OBJ, it was set to texture and we went to our fabrics and we made sure that our normal map intensity did not exceed 10 and we made sure that we had a roughness map in our roughness slot. So with that, with all that being done, we're ready to export, so let's go to File, Export GLTF 2.0, parentheses GLB is what we want to do. We name the asset. And we want to make sure we have select all parameters enabled, select all graphics and trims. We want to change thin to thick, and we want to make sure our scale is set to meters. We don't want to do anything here. I like to save and compress a zip file, it just makes it easier and clean to, to upload. So when you click OK, you will generate a zip file that you can then upload to our platform, to the Ventana platform and view it in real time. Thank you very much and happy exporting.